What is up, guys? This is the first ever episode of the Naked Batman Show, where we do not sit on high horses and opinions. They're just opinions. My name's Blake, and my co-hosts Clint and Clayton were supposed to help me with the pilot episode, but we couldn't find a day, and we wanted to get it posted. We wanted to get some stuff posted before Christmas, so I have the honor and the privilege to do the first episode. So let's jump in right out the gate with some comic reviews. Detective Comics number 15, Death of the Family. Now, if you've been keeping up with Detective Comics and Batman since the New 52 um, reboot, then you know that in Detective Comics number 1, Joker got his face cut off and skipped town. You know that in Batman 13, which this cover originally appeared on, you know, where you know, the Joker's face peels, you know, peels back and it shows Batman's face underneath, um, you know that um, the Joker in that issue, Batman 13, the Joker killed a lot of police officers when he came back and caused a lot of panic and chaos, which it was worthy of a, of a cover this cool, you know. So I mean, it was a good it was a good issue, and but this issue was mostly about Clayface and Poison Ivy and Penguin, so it really had not a lot to do directly with you know the Joker's return or the death of the family story arc. So it just makes me mad they used this cover again, and it wasn't an issue worthy of the cover. So, I give it a 3 out of 5. Now, if you're a comic book reader and you do not read Deadpool, you should be horse whipped. <laughs> because Deadpool is awesome. And this is a true reboot, you know, since Marvel's doing their new reboot stuff now, called Marvel Now. <laughs> um, you know, you know that Deadpool previously lost his healing factor in Daniel Way's run on Deadpool. But, he has it back in this series, and so far it's been pretty good. Um... Some necromancer brought back uh, all of the U.S. presidents to fix the country, but turns out that they just want to destroy it and start a new one. So Deadpool has to stop them by killing all of the presidents again. So it's pretty interesting, um, and I like the fact that he's kicking Richard Nixon in the face. It's kind of funny. So good issue. I give it a 5 out of 5. Now, Avengers wasn't so much of a true reboot as Deadpool. Um, it kind of, the first three pages kind of harken back to the last, um, series that just ended, b uh, before the Marvel Now, you know, stuff started happening. Um, but I, I, overall, I liked it. I love Avengers. I love Captain America. I love all that stuff. So, I'm definitely going to read it. I loved it. I'm going to read the, uh, I'm going to keep reading the series. I'm sure I'll give it five out of five later. But, just because they did that harkening back to the last, you know, series... And didn't just you know, you know, start a new reboot. You know, just start over. Um, just because of that, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Just because it kind of bothered me because you know I, I didn't read the previous series, so and I really wanted to just you know just start a good Avenger story right out the gate, not harkening back to you know stuff that just ended. You know, I mean that's what you do with a reboot. You you start over. You know, so it just kind of bothered me, but you know, like I say, just my opinion. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, um, four out of five. Now, Daredevil, end of days, number three of eight. So, if, you, um, if you've been keeping up with this, spoiler alert, then, uh, well, it wouldn't be a spoiler alert if you've actually been keeping up with this. It would be, a, if it is a spoiler alert and you have been reading these issues, then you're an idiot. <laughs> because you should know what's going on by now, by issue three. Golly, come on now. TV and cartoons are killing us. So, basically, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't been reading this series, um, Daredevil killed Kingpin in front of a bunch of people, TV cameras, stuff like that. And then Bullseye turns around and kills Daredevil in front of a bunch of people. But Daredevil says this word right before he dies. And Ben Urich from the Daily Bugle, which is about to be closing in this series, it's, it's like on its last day of operation um he's he's setting out to write a story about the final days of daredevil so he's uh working pretty hard trying to figure out what that word means and kind of what was going on you know the reason why you know all this happened you know just he didn't really understand so he's been going to a lot of people asking questions like electra and echo and uh typhoid mary really coming up with just zilch so i mean it's been pretty good i enjoy it i like the artwork it's really good but the only problem is i don't like the fact that it's eight issues long it should you know should have been like six or four they could have told the story a little more concise way so but i gave it a four out of five just because it's a little long 
And all these comics, like if you live in Arkansas in the Four City Wynn area, you know, anywhere in there, um, we, me and Clint and Clayton, get all of our comics at Shannon's Cards and Comics. And uh, if you live around there, which I don't know if anybody who would watch this, you know, be watching this video would actually live around there. So, you know, we're kind of one of the few, com you know, some of the few comic book geeks there. But if you do live around there, then definitely stop by Shannon's. Cool place. Cool guy. So these I actually got from Hastings, though. Sorry, Shannon. Um, <laughs> I actually lucked out and found all of the Shadowland issues for Daredevil. See, because I found all the ones, you know, that were in the Daredevil series. You know, it was like 508 through 512 or something like that. And then I found the 1 through 5 Shadowland. And then I found this, the one shot the, after the fall. So it's pretty cool. Pretty good find. I, I lucked out. I don't know. I, mean, I usually never have that much luck in the back issues of Hastings. But I actually lucked out this time. So um, before we close out, I'm going to do a... Uh, Something that we're not going to do a whole lot on this show because we're pretty well poor college students and we can't afford a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, um, like, a, we're gonna, I'm going to do an action figure review. And, um, like I say, if you want us to do, you know, once we establish more of a fan base, if you want us to do more or if you don't want us to do any, just let us know. I mean, we'll, uh, you know, if you want us to do more, we'll uh, maybe dig back into some, you know, some of our archives. <laughs> I have a lot of my old Lord of the Rings and stuff, you know, so which I've collected over the years and pretty cool you know uh, I'm starting to find a lot of old stuff now I've been looking back in my closets and stuff so it's been a uh, been pretty interesting here lately finding all this old stuff like that Nazgul I showed you that's hanging from my ceiling but um just you know just let us know what you want if you want more you want less just let us know so but new ones we're not going to be really up to date because you know it's just hard for us to buy them but I got this one about a week ago or two weeks ago and I uh, just thought it was cool I really wanted to pick it up um, you know, really good Daredevil figure. Like I say, I'm I'm becoming a really huge Daredevil fan. Yeah, you know, I mean, over the past year, I've just really been into all things Daredevil, just because you know, because he's awesome. I mean, golly. Um, but uh, I had some problems with this figure, but uh, we'll go through that in a second. So I'm gonna go through some art articulation. You know, the wrist spins around like that, hinge joint for the elbow, a little stiff. Um. Kind of a ball and socket joint for the shoulder, but like I say, it's pretty stiff. Head turns 360 degrees around. Ah. And then um, waist spins same way, 360 degrees. Kind of the same situation um, with the leg as it is with the shoulder. It's kind of, a, kind of a ball and socket joint, but not really. It's kind of stiff. I like the double jointed knee thing. Really good for posing. And then kind of a hinge joint for the ankle. See it right there. And um, it's kind of it can be a good thing, you know, for it to be stiff because it holds the pose pretty good. But if you like messing with your figures, you know, it it's kind of not really a lot of fun because this is really a stiff figure kind of. It might it might just be the one I have. I don't know. But you know, and uh, his uh, batons come out, which is cool. But the only things there were two things I didn't like about this figure. I didn't like the way he has thin as biceps look looks really kind of cheesy um i don't know it just doesn't really look it doesn't match up with the rest of his body you know i mean he's super buff leg super buff chest and then pencil arms you know so um i didn't like that that was my main beef with it another thing i didn't like was see his holster like whoa the phone is ringing ah darn you awesome Okay. Anyway, so um, the, yeah, the, see the holster. See, like I think it was the Marvel Legends figure said that um, I watched some reviews on that, and they said that you could actually put his batons in the holster, which is pretty cool. You know, I kind of wish this figure had that, but you know, like I say, it's still a good figure, and um, you know, that's that's really my only two beefs with it. But uh, and it also comes with this stand. So if you saw the movie, you remember this is where he was. Um, at when the movie starts when they first show Daredevil which is a pretty cool little thing you can kind of pose him on it it's kind of hard to but um, and like I say you know if you want to buy this figure you know you can pose him in a, at a different angle looks a little more buff see so it's, it's not bad I like it so I give it an A 
But this is all I have for December 6, 2012. This has been the Naked Batman Show, and I am out.